your majesties welcome back to the channel thank you so much for always returning trust you and yours are well and you are loving yourself and others like always many thanks to all of you for the support to give to the channel thank you so much to our channel members to our anonymous supporters to all of you my sim subscribers you are loved celebrated and appreciated your majesties so i want to talk to african christians okay just come forward come close i want to have a chat with you okay so i came across something and it drew my attention <laughs> and trust me whenever i come across something that i feel is a message that could be passed i do not hesitate to share that with you here so i came across this one uh one of the clip where mommy grace was you know her she's up here on on youtube the revelations um she was having a discussion with someone <laughs> oh my who did this to us is there a way out for us at this point no just i need an answer is there a way out for us at this point because it's like every day we sink below and this is exactly what the world wants a conquered black nation a conquered melanated community that only think about things that are not realities that only sit and fantasize on fairy tales that only sit and walk their head they walk their brains on things that are not important and then behind their backs what happens what goes on their minerals are taken and utilized their resources are taken and utilized as we are seated Contemplating and working ahead on fantasies and things that do not are not important, they are taking out our resources to build their heaven. So their their region becomes heaven, and our region becomes hell. Let's listen to this before I begin to fire us. Let's listen to this. Greetings, family. Uh, this video that you are going to watch, eh? I don't know. I've been telling you people that there are many people who have mental issue. Some are at the psychiatric hospital some are on the street but some they are in suits in church holding microphone recruiting others watch this video there is there i don't know two 41 pastors went to some mountain and so come came back with some nonsense and the interviewer jammed him <laughs> watch the video now we have come so we are now going to send a message because he gave he came with a message so you 41 people yes. you were in the bush yes. waiting for Christ yes and he showed himself to you people yes. Yes. now you have come you are coming to spread his man you didn't come with toothpick you didn't come with pegs you didn't produce anything 41 people for two and a half years you are coming to spread the word to who ah huh? yes that is a message he give us a message of salvation mm. hey Africa when that man you have freedom huh? you 41 people you went to bush to fast to talk to god yeah for two and a half years you couldn't produce toothpick toothbrush nothing anything woody in the bush you couldn't produce it 41 people you stayed there and prayed and see saw a light so now what are you coming to do now? salvation to who to all mankind before you were born yes was there salvation before i was born yes were there salvation? Yes. Simple question. I don't understand your question. I'm, I don't I'm saying that before Simple you were born, question. Yeah. were people preaching salvation? They were pre preaching salvation. And your own way of preaching salvation is to take 41 people to bush for two and a half years and come and preach the same message people are already Not preaching. the same message. I, 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 I don't get it. What's wrong with us? okay uh for those of you who might not know this story um uh, this pastor um actually went into the mountain to the bush to pray with 41 people 41 church members for over two years they were on the mountain praying and after two years they came back and what did they come back with? They came back with message of salvation. 
And this is where I'm going to put the question to some of you who are okay with things like this and you do it. What is salvation? What is salvation to you? Is salvation going to the bush and remain there for over two years? And Europeans coming to your home and stealing your minerals and going to their home and building factories and building industries and developing themselves. And then when you come back after two years, they tell you to come for, they give you opportunity and then you go and start washing their plates. Is that what salvation is? Yes, because I think that's what salvation is to many black people, many Africans. Because after they come back from the mountain, and then they give them opportunity to come and wash plates or bait dead bodies. They come to the church and give thanksgiving, jubilating, and they are happy. Oh, I've been accepted to travel to the U.S., to travel to Canada. Is that the definition of salvation? That you went to the mountain to pray for two years, you didn't produce anything, not toothpick, like Mami Grace asked him. You didn't come back with toothpick, you didn't come back with anything. So what are you expecting to come and survive on after two years when you are down from the mountain? This your God, is this how wicked this God, your God is? That you throw everything you need to fight for, you go sit in the bush for over two years. And then you are leaving him. This God did not give you anything, he only gives you a message of salvation. And that's why I ask, what is salvation? That after you come down from the mountain, you still go to source for the food that you eat. You still go to sweat to till the ground. What is salvation, my people? Are we not in bondage even up until this time? What is wrong with us? That a grown-up man like this and 41 of his kind will go into the bush for more than two years and return. And then when they are asked, what did you come back with? They said they came with a message of salvation, like Mami Grace asked him. How many people have been preaching with uh, salvation before he was born? For over 2,000 years, the message of salvation has been preached. And the African people are still in the situation that they are in. Because what they brought and said it was a message of salvation is a message of destruction. Yes. Because if you follow up with this man now, he will tell you, you have to go to church. You have to go be going to the mountain. You have to do this. You have to do that. Some other things, moral things that he will say is the normal thing that we know in the African system as a law of Ma'at. It's a normal thing that you live as someone who has conscience and who have a soul. You go by the 42 laws of my heart. It's a normal thing. And this is what he would be telling you that that's the message he's bringing. Something that you already know is a normal thing that you have to, a normal person, a normal human being. I'm not talking about being without a soul. I'm talking about beings with soul that have conscience. You know the difference between good and bad. You know if you hurt somebody, it's bad. You know if you do this, it's bad. If you steal from somebody, it's bad. You know these are the things you have to do to work out your own peace of mind. And this is the same word he's coming to say, oh. Something that people have been hearing all these years, oh. What is this? What, what difference does this all make? That after, after two years, you were in the bush, you came out. Two good years is enough. When you give birth to a child that is two, a, a two years already, is that child not grown? At this age, your children even begin to grow from the womb. Two years, you come out and start nothing. You say you come with message of salvation. What is what is our problem? What is the problem? Is I don't know. Yes, is the colonization? It has eaten deep into our senses, into our brain. We don't know what we are doing anymore. In short, the sorcery is working, and it's going to work on people who choose that it work on them. Like I say, is what you accept for yourself that work. If you want to push yourself into the consciousness of people that that sorcery they have done on will work on, it's going to work. And it's working on a lot of people that claim that they are pastors. Like he said, they sit, they stand in buildings called churches with microphone every Sunday recruiting people to come and become stupid like they are. We have a lot of them who will come here and start saying, you don't know what you are saying. This man is saying the truth. There are people who still, who still believe the, the stupidity of this man. 
And that's what the Chinese man will say, we are stupid. That we have men of this age that will go and hide in the bush for, 41, for, uh, for, for two years and come out with nothing. That's the, the level of our stupidity. Will a Chinese man go and do this nonsense? Go to China today and see the level of infrastructure and development. Will any Europeans go and do this nonsense? Go to Europe and America and see the level of their infrastructure and development. All these things are at the detriment of the African people. They turn you to fools. They turn you to zombies. They turn you to puppets. And they are stealing your resources to go and develop themselves. No, go and pray. Go to the mountain 21 days. You go and sit there in the bush. Did your God come down and give you food to eat? That's the question I want to ask. Because that, that two years you stay in the bush, they were eating food. With the, money, the food they buy with their money. This their God did not come down and say, okay, my child, take this food and eat. I am your God. This God did not come down and say, okay, this is the solution to the problem, to the economic problem of your country. This is the solution to the social problem of your country. This is the solution to the what have you problem of your country. This God did not come to tell them this thing. They use their money to feed themselves. And as they are back now, this God will not fly and come and say, take food and eat. You will never be hungry. This God will not come down. This God will not come and give them strategy that they are going to work out the success of their, their uh, whichever country they are, they are in. This God will not come and give you how the, the, the formula that will draw Africa from, from this uh, bondage of colonialism. This God will not do it. This God will only sit down with you there and turn you to a foolish person. And that's why I tell you, the God that Christianity, Islam, and Judaism worship is not the creator of the universe. Most of you think that I'm joking. Most of you think that I don't know what I'm saying. How can the creator tie you down, a being that should be active, a being that should use their senses? Because this creator has given you sense, common sense, to solve every problem that you are in. And there's every, we have everything in us to solve every pressing issue that we are facing. We are created. That's why the creator took time to, to, to know, mold our brains so that it can be utilized and become useful. And then you tell me it's the same creator you go to sit with for over two years and they come back without anything. I think we need to do some check. -o. So mental checkup needs to be done on some of these people that claim that they are custodian of the, of, of the word of God. Something is wrong with us. I just want to show this to you to see the level that we are still in, that we need to do more work by for now.